Hi guys, what is up? So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of black owned makeup brands. A lot of people have done this on their channel. I wanted to do it as well. Now, just a fair warning, a lot of the products I use were Fenty and Pat McGrath just because I have the most of those products. So for my base, it's completely Pat McGrath, Fenty, but then I do have a few other brands that I wanted to spice up this video with. I mentioned this in my live this past Sunday, but all AdSense earned from this video will be donated to the NAA ACP. I will put all of that information down below if you would like to provide an additional donation I will have my PayPal and my Venmo down there for you as well You can donate that way if you would like this is my way of taking advantage of my platform and using it to support a good cause It also costs you nothing just you simply watching this video is going to help with the donation If you would like to watch the ads that also is going to add more money to the AdSense earned from this video Another way that you can also support is to check out my live from last Sunday. So all the AdSense from that will also be going towards my donation. And then I also had a lot of wonderful people also donate through my Venmo and PayPal last week and Super Chats as well. So if you were one of those, thank you very much. I do have those donations. The live from last Sunday is split up into two videos because I had some technical issues, but even you going back to watch those is also going to help make the donation bigger. So anyways, if you would like to see how I got this look and see all of the wonderful black owned makeup brands that I used in this video. Make sure you keep on watching. I do plan on purchasing more. It's just because of the time and shipping and all of that. This is just what I happen to have already in my collection. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off with our primer. For my primer today, I'm using a good old Fenty Beauty and I'm using the Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. It's been a while since I've used this and it's a nice primer. I do really enjoy it. I think it makes my skin feel nice and velvety. As you can see, I picked at my <laughs> nails yesterday, so I'm going to do those later tonight. So hopefully next video, my nails will be looking a little bit better, but I really like this primer because it makes my skin feel very silky and smooth. It's not not the most hydrating primer that I own in my collection, but it definitely smooths things out for sure. For foundation, I decided to keep the duo. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I have mine in the shade 230. This foundation is very, very dewy. So if you don't like a dewy complexion, you might not like this. I would even argue that this is a little bit too dewy to the point where it can be a bit unflattering even on myself with dry skin. I do like it though. I feel it's a foundation that looks better in person than it does on camera. Like in real life, I always think my skin looks very nice and hydrated when I wear this, but when I wear it on camera, I feel like it looks <laughs> a bit weird and greasy. So if I don't look as good on camera, just know that this is a foundation that's going to look better when you wear it out in person. I also find I don't really love this foundation when I layer too much of it on but when I'm just wearing a light layer of it I really enjoy it a lot. I guess I'll knock Fenty out and I'll finish off with my Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil. This is the only black owned eyebrow product that I believe I own so of course I had to pull this one out. Lately I've been going pretty light when it comes to filling in my brows. I just kind of redefine the arch up here because I have very sparse hairs on this arch. I'll extend my brow a little bit and then I'll do a little bit of filling in along the bottom just to clean everything up and then a little bit of fill in in the center just to make things blend together and the eyebrow look a little bit more seamless. And that's really all I've been doing for eyebrows on the daily and I remember back in the day when eyebrows were first starting to really come back in trend to where you had to fill them in. We would spend forever doing our brows and I'm so happy we're at the point where we don't need to do that anymore. Just lightly fill them in to make them look a little bit better. For concealer, I actually decided to go with one of my favorite concealers of all time and that's from Pat McGrath Labs. I have a lot of Pat McGrath items in my collection as you guys know. So I'm gonna go in with LM9. That is my personal shade. Oh, so we do in yard work now soon as I start filming. Isn't that lovely? Anyways, this is like my favorite concealer of all time. I'm not the biggest fan of Fenty's concealer. But the Pat McGrath concealer, one of my all time faves. Seriously, one of the best. Also just gonna run that on my eyelid as well. And before I go on with powder, I do wanna quickly put on a liquid base for highlighter. And I'm using the Danessa Myricks Illuminating Veil. First of all, I love Danessa Myricks as a 
makeup artist. She is so inspiring for me. When I was at the makeup show last year, she did a live demo and I was there and oh, I love her. And while I was there, I purchased a few different Danessa Myricks things and this was one of them. This is the Illuminating Veil. I have mine in the shade Serenity. And now with this, it does have a little bit of glitteriness to this. I don't think all of hers does. She was sold out of a lot of colors, so this was the only color that I could get. So it does have a little bit of glitter in it, but it still is a beautiful formula. I'm just going to put that right at the high points of my cheek. But do you guys see this? And her makeup line is also extremely underrated, if you ask me. She is, honestly, she's a glow queen. She creates the most dewy, wet-looking skin in all of her looks. Such a special makeup artist and such a special person. If you are looking to support a Black-owned brand, that's the first brand, personally, that I would go for. You know, that's not one of the big Fenty or Pat McGrath. I personally also need to do some more shopping on her line, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to supporting Black-owned brands, she's one of the first brands that I would go to because she's such a sweet person. She's so inspiring. I don't know, I just, I love her so much. And if you don't follow her on Instagram, you need to. Her looks are incredible. I honestly really like to apply this on my eyelid as kind of an all-over glossy highlight look with a little bit of glitter. It's not my favorite as a liquid highlighter, but I did want to show you it and introduce her brand. Um, okay, so now we get to move back into a powder. I don't have another cream product, so I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Powder, one of my favorite powders of all time. Pat McGrath just comes out with products that are made for me. I swear. For bronzer today, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. It's such a good smooth formula. She has so many different colors, you guys, for every skin tone, every undertone. It's incredible. And I just, I love the formula of the bronzer. I love the shade of this particular bronzer a lot. I feel like it complements my skin tone very well. It's just a banging bronzer. And that's all I have for Fenty, I swear. I know I just use so many Fenty products but I just have a lot of them, okay? For blush, I absolutely had to use this. This is the Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Palette. And this is a palette that I haven't talked about, but it's like one of those low-key favorites where I use it, but I just haven't gotten the chance to talk about it on my channel. And it's just really shimmery blush lighters. I'm obsessed with this, you guys. I love the finish it adds to my cheek. I'm going to use a little bit of Sip Sip Hooray right here. Beauty Bakery is definitely a huge up and coming brand. They are now in Ulta and I personally do need to try some more of their products for sure. This is the only beauty bakery product I have. I used to have an eyeshadow palette from them that I wasn't too big of a fan of so I did declutter that but this palette is incredible and it's mixing into the Danessa Myricks product literally just so seamlessly. You guys see how beautiful my cheek looks? I'm just blending this blush lighter right up into that highlight. So beauty bakery is definitely a brand that you guys have all probably heard of, but uh, this is such an underrated palette. It is so amazing, you guys. And then again from Danessa Myricks, I have this In Light Heaven Scent Powder, and you can kind of use this for whatever you want. Again, when I bought this, everything was sold out, so I kind of just had to go with what they had. This is one of those odd like diamond powders where they're a little bit too light to work as a blush for me, but they're also a little bit too dark to to work as a highlighter for me. So I'm gonna use this as an all over cheek color. So I don't need it, but I just wanted to share with you another Danessa Myricks product because I love her stuff. It's just so shimmery. So I'm gonna use that as an in-between color to my blush and my highlighter. Like I said, didn't need to use this. Normally what I use this powder for though is all over my eyelid for a simple, really shimmery, shiny lid. But now I'm really just using it because I wanted to show you it, not because I needed it because now my cheek my cheek's a little bit overly reflective now since we are a little bit overly shimmery i'm going to take my sponge kind of blend it out but dang you guys i am glowing okay so i'm gonna bring you into the eyes and we are gonna work on eyeshadow and i had a couple eyeshadow palettes that i was considering playing with i have some juvia's place and then i also have some ace beauty ace beauty i actually didn't know this was a black owned company but they have the prettiest layout of palettes they're a very affordable brand i would say i do struggle a little bit with their formulation but these two palettes that i have classical paradise and paradise fallen these are from their paradise collection 
The color stories of these are incredible. It just takes a little bit extra to work with the formula. I don't think I've used Juvia's Place palettes on my channel, so I'm going to. For a while, I wasn't too sure about Juvia's Place because she was commenting some weird things on Twitter to Jackie. I know that was a long time ago. As a company, they've been doing a lot of really great things for this movement that we have going on. You know, they were donating to charities and all that good stuff. And I just, I feel like using these palettes because I haven't used this one more than once. And this is just the Saharan by Juvia's. This is one of their older ones, but it has a really nice selection of colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera and then we'll be back for this eye. Uh, so I decided to go relatively wearable today. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Katsina. I apologize if I'm pronouncing these names wrong or anything, but this is going to be our transition color. Love that this shade is in here. I'm just gonna blend that out and I'm also going to apply that to my lower lash line as well while we are at it. Just using a big fluffy brush. And then the next shade I'm going into is Jamila, which is a warm orange shade. And I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my lid. And we're gonna blend that a little bit into the middle of the crease. And then I'm also going to run this color all over the lower lash line. Now this is a step that I wish I hadn't have done, but I already did it on this eye, so we're gonna do it. I'm taking some of Chad, and I'm going to apply this to the outer corner. And this black, you guys, is so pigmented. The quality of these shadows are really good. Juvia's Place is a very affordable brand and they create really beautiful, vibrant palettes that show up so wonderfully on deep skin, which is kind of how I first heard of them was I watch a lot of channels of deeper skin tones so that I can learn what works on deeper skin tones and report it back to you guys. The first time I heard of Juvia's Place was from black women just saying these palettes are amazing, they're affordable, and they're made for us. And then I really, really wanted to use this shade right here. This shade caught my eye instantly and that's kind of why I decided to do a more wearable look because I just I loved this shimmery pink shade and now the Juvia's Place shimmer formula very very creamy to a point where I find sometimes it can fade but I think that just given the price and the amazing pigmentation that totally makes up for it applied like butter really gorgeous shade and then on the outer half of the lid I'm going to take this deeper cranberry shade this is a beautiful palette this is only the second time I've used it I believe quality and pigmentation really really nice the formula is reminiscent of morphe shadows uh like the older original 35 palettes because this the shimmer formula in particular that's what it reminds me of um and then i'm gonna take some of lulu right here and i'm gonna run this along my lower lash line again another gorgeous like rose gold shade that's going to look stunning and then i'm gonna take a little bit of iman this has a little bit of a blue undertone to it which is really cool if you want to apply this all over the lid with like an orange on the crease but i'm just gonna be basic and use it as my inner core so while they are finishing up mowing the yard i'm going to do liner lashes and mascara quickly just want to shout out my pat mcgrath labs fetishized mascara my favorite mascara of all time and i'll be back and we'll finish the lips all right guys so with liner and lashes i'm obsessed with this simple pink and orange look. I think the colors are both wearable but also bright at the same time. Anyways, I want to move on to lips and I most definitely wanted to use my Danessa Myricks Color Fix. If you don't know what these are, basically they're like paint. You can use them for anything that you want. You can use them on the cheek. I like to use these on the eyes. I'll just put a little dot on my eyes and I'll blend it out with a blending brush and you have a really simple easy look that's completely waterproof. And I also like to use them on the lips. So I'm going to use this one on the lips today. This is Coffee Cake. Now, when you use these on the lips, they can be a little bit drying, so just be prepared for that. Prepare your lips, but I love these. These are literally bulletproof. They will last all day, and I'm just doing a light wash. I'm not doing a really pigmented layer. And y'all, she has all types of colors, all types of finishes. She has metallic glitter, glaze. You can use them as eyeliners. You can get a really colorful metallic one and use that for really intricate eye looks. Literally, the opportunities are endless with these, and I'm surprised these products aren't talked about more. They're amazing. I have 
four different colors and I love them. And if you love a good monochromatic look like me, lips, blush, and eyes use the same color, beautiful. You do have to work fast with this though. All right guys, here we have it. This is my full face using just black owned makeup brands. I absolutely love this look. This is the kind of look that I love wearing when I'm feeling extra spicy, but still feel comfortable out wearing. So definitely check out the brands that I mentioned. I know we've all heard of Fenty and Pat McGrath, but look into Ace Beauty, Danessa Myricks is kind of the star of this show. I really wanted to highlight what I had from her brand. I definitely plan on purchasing more from her brand and expanding my knowledge on her line. Also, uh, I did enjoy my Juvia's Place shadow that I played with. She has a lot more fun palettes in her line. And then this Beauty Bakery Blush Lighter Palette. So incredible, you guys. I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, my Venmo and my PayPal are down below if you would like to donate through there. And all AdSense from this video will be going to the NAACP. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.